So I'm Neil Sutton and I'm ESUK's Virtual Reality Project Manager. So Team Fisher were asked to provide a VR product to train aircraft handlers on board Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carrier. The old way of doing it, they used to use sea harriers on a concrete deck down at RNAS Cold Rose. It was getting expensive and the sea harriers actually had to be retired at the end of 2018. So Team Fisher are a consortium led by Capita They'll be delivering training transformation to the Royal Navy over the next 10 years. And Elbit Systems side of the business is a synthetic integrator running the current simulators that the Royal Navy have and any new simulator requirement that they'll have in the future. So the Royal Navy's challenges, they had no way of experiencing live jet training due to the, they had no experience of the noise, the danger, the responsibilities. So the VR solution that we've come up with allows them to train in a safe environment uh, with all the environmental noise and sounds associated with working on a flight deck. So the system we're using um, that we've put together for the Navy is actually using the HTC Vive uh, Focus 3 headset. It's the best on the market for comfort um, and the graphics uh, are very good inside the headset. It's all commercial off-the-shelf technology, so we're using Unity as the game engine, um, we're using 3ds Max to build all the models and characters. So using COTS technology makes it uh, cost effective and efficient uh, to build um, and it's quite rapid development that we're doing. The system actually allows up to four trainees to launch a single aircraft or up to four aircraft and then recover as many as they like. Currently being only developed for the F-35 but to future proof it we can develop it for rotary wing or any future aircraft that the Royal Navy bring into service. This VR system was led by customer requirements to deliver a cost-effective, technology-led synthetic training solution. We work closely with the instructors at the Royal Navy School of Flight Deck Operations and the F-35 community. Immersive training works best when the customer requirement is fully understood. ESUK utilise a deep understanding based on our flight simulation experience, vehicle driving and team operating VR systems and soldier training systems that have been a success due to the integration of the customer requirements from the beginning. So this is the use of technology as a solution. One of the challenges we rose to for this system was based on ESUK's ability to be agile and responsive. In just four months we've gone from requirement to delivery to the Royal Navy. Firstly, the QEC is a key platform for the Royal Navy and their future endeavours. This VR product provides them with the next generation of training. Whilst the current VR system allows for four simultaneous users, over the duration of the programme, this could be developed further and could also include other deck handlers, such as tractor drivers, lift operators, and ultimately the flying control team to make it a full deck operating system. As a recent Royal Navy service leader, I'm an example of how ESUK employ veterans who have direct experience, skills and knowledge which translate to a better understanding and therefore solutions that are best suited to the customer, in this case the Royal Navy. Elbit Systems UK has experience in technology integration and an understanding of the end user's needs that translates to providing innovative solutions to the armed forces. 